Hey, welcome back into the Wells Tech Garage for this week's episode of Wells Tech Connect. For those of you who aren't familiar with, with uh, what's going on here with our Tech Connect episodes, we take the time out every other week in these to answer any questions that you guys had or comments that you uh, put out on YouTube or, or uh, out on our website during our broadcasts. And we also take this time out to announce the next uh, live training broadcast that we're going to have coming up the following week. So uh, if you guys are having any problems or troubles commenting in, if you're using our website, you'll notice that the program is a little bit different than it used to be. There were some updates done to it, so the chat function is a little bit different than it used to be. Normally the chat would come up uh, underneath the video player or over to the side. Now you have to click the little chat bubble that's in the upper right corner of the video player to be able to chat in. So if you guys are noticing any problems or, or have any issues with that, definitely shoot me out an email or uh, something like that to be able to uh, hopefully get that addressed and, and functioning for you guys again. Um, so just keep that in mind. It is a little bit different to chat in now on our website. Uh, YouTube and everything is still the same if you guys are watching out on YouTube. So uh, without any further delay, let's uh, talk about our question that we have here. It was out on YouTube. Uh, Campen asks, our, uh, this is pertaining to our last, uh, one of our last broadcasts when we were talking about EGR valves and pulse width modulation and duty cycle and MOSFETs and, and all of that stuff. And he's asking, are you saying that a 35% duty cycle or a 35% on time from the computer is equivalent to a 35% opening of the EGR valve? For some reason, I don't think that's correct. And, uh, Campen, you're, you're absolutely correct. Uh, that does not have a direct correlation. Um, if we made it sound like that was a direct co correlation, I apologize. That's not what we were trying to get across. Um, there are a lot of factors that actually factor in from duty cycle to the correlation of the opening of the EGR valve. The way the computer functions is it looks at the position sensor of the pintle inside the EGR valve, and we all know when the pintle changes position, it increases or decreases voltage accordingly. So the computer's looking at that voltage reading and adjusting the amount of duty cycle or the on time of that solenoid inside there to get the valve in that proper position. Um, there's a ton of things that have factors on this, such as uh, the EGR valve's temperature, um, any corrosion or uh, carbon buildup that were in there, and also the return spring rate of the inside of that EGR valve that returns that pintle back to home. Um, the computer kind of has to fight against all those things. So the solenoid inside that EGR valve, say, is commanded at 40%. Well, that could actually mean the valve is opening 60%, or it could mean the valve is opening 20%, all depending on how efficient that valve is at that moment. Um, so you're absolutely right, Campin. There is no direct correlation between the, um, the duty cycle that the valve is being commanded at and the actual position of the, the, the pintle inside of the valve. So great, great question. Glad you uh, came out and asked that one. So uh, now on to our next class. Our next class we're going to be covering evaporative emissions diagnostics. Uh, we actually have a car in here that has a bad vent solenoid, but we're going to take it further than that. We're going to explain how an emission system functions and what exactly it does for your vehicle. Um, I'm sure you've all seen the EVAP leak codes, uh, P0455, that kind of thing, large leak, small leak. Uh, so we're going to take some time to explain how all that works and what the computer does. And then we're also going to talk about um, operation and, and uh, normal um, functions of the EVAP uh, purge solenoids and vent solenoids. And then we're also going to talk about smoke machines and uh, how you hook it up, how you use it, and, and what the heck it's actually doing. Um, smoke machines are really starting to come down in price, so they're becoming more and more popular in the smaller shops. So um, we're going to teach you guys how to use it and what exactly you are, uh, are looking for when you're hooking that smoke machine up. So uh, that class is going to be next week, Thursday, June 23rd, at noon, like always. So uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll see you guys then. Have a great weekend.